Hey friends, welcome back to Cooking with Claudia. Today I'm showing you a delicious way to cook rice. We're making the sun-dried tomato and vegetable rice. I served this rice with the chicken recipe I made last week and you guys have been asking for the recipe, so here you go. It's very easy to make. Let's get started. To start this recipe, I've heated my pan over medium heat. Into that, I'm adding about 2 tablespoons of olive oil. And we're going to use some sun-dried tomatoes in this recipe, so I want to cook with the oil that comes with. So I'm pouring that in with the olive oil. I want to say that's about 2 or 3 tablespoons sun-dried tomato oil. I'm mixing together both oils, and as soon as the oil is heated, I'm going to cook some vegetables. I've already sliced one medium-sized onion two stalks of celery and one cup of carrot. I'm tossing into the hot oil, then I'm going to season the veggies with salt and pepper to taste. I used half a teaspoon salt and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Next, I'm going to cook the veggies on medium heat for about 3 to 5 minutes until they soften a little and develop a nice aroma. Once the veggies smell flavorful, I'm going to add in 3 cloves of minced garlic. Next, I'm adding in the sun-dried tomatoes. I'm using 1 cup and 2 tablespoons of sun-dried tomatoes. Sometimes the pieces of sun-dried tomatoes can look too large in the can when you get them, so make sure you chop them up a little, that way they can incorporate better with the rice. I'm cooking the garlic and tomatoes for 1 minute, then I'm going to add in 2 cups of jasmine rice. It's my favorite rice. Then I'm going to season the rice with 1 tablespoon of paprika, 1 teaspoon each of curry powder and ground coriander and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I'm tossing everything together, then I'm going to let the rice cook together with the spices and vegetables for two minutes. I want the rice to get toasty and flavorful. Next, I'm going to add in three and a half cups of chicken broth, then I'm going to add some of this Better Than Bouillon roasted chicken base. I love this stuff so much. I use it a lot in my rice recipes and it adds so much flavor. As you can see, I'm running out. I added a tablespoon full. I'm going to mix everything together, taste for salt and add more if needed. The chicken broth and the better than bouillon are already salty so I didn't add any more salt to mine. Allow the sauce to come to a simmer on medium heat. Then you're going to reduce your heat to low and let the rice slow cook on low heat for 25 to 30 minutes. After about 20 minutes of cooking, I'm going to fluff up the rice with a fork. Make sure you use a fork and not a spoon or it's going to mash up the rice, okay guys? Next, I am adding in freshly chopped parsley and fresh basil. I don't measure my fresh herbs, but I would say this is about 2 tablespoons each. Mix everything together, place the lid on and let the rice finish slow cooking. And this is what it looks like when it's done. It smells so good. I'm finishing with some more fresh basil. Then this is ready to be enjoyed. I'm going to show you how I love to serve this. So after I dish out the rice, I top it with a sunny side up egg, then I drizzle some sriracha all over it. Sometimes I also add some sliced avocados on the side, but I didn't have any today. This is such a delicious way to cook rice. If you guys would like the ingredients and measurements, check the description box. I'm going to leave everything there. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!